Okay, um, just to clarify for number four, um, if you can, um, uh, sources and background material should, about the researchers should also um, be cited so others can determine their reputation and independence from vested interests in the study's outcome. Remember, however, when doing this, do not get caught up in the critical thinking fallacies I mentioned earlier about vested interests, etc. Um, now, finally, uh, in the last one, um, when polls are taken, it is important uh, to know uh, not only whether they're, um, whether a reputable organization uh, or agency uh, took the poll, but the exact formulation of the question. Um, Penn and Teller bullshit uh, did have a little clip here on here about polls, which actually very clearly states uh, that uh, a pollster can get uh, two exact different answers by just phrasing the question differently out of the exact same person. So just a word, be careful about trusting polls. Anyway, uh, that's all. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. By the way, this was from uh, English. Thank you for yourself. The rest of it was from my list of critical thinking fallacies. Um, go online, research this, and hopefully uh, when I start talking about fallacies or start critiquing your arguments from it, you'll know what I'm talking about from now on. Toodles!